is up guys welcome back amazing rc now i told you earlier i was gonna have a video for you today and uh i had to i had to really push to get this to happen because i wanted to take this outside and that's where i just come from and that's why this is all sweaty and i'm all sweaty uh it's pretty chilly outside right now uh it's actually really chilly it's around 25 degrees or so uh but i was running out of sunlight so i had to get out there pretty quick so I rushed on down the mountain side as uh, fast as I could and uh, trying to rush back so that I could get the video because I wanted to show you guys all the, the cool little upgrades that I did. And there were, uh, were several. I basically got cool new driver. Now you know this comes with the little plastic face so you get the little white guy. And uh, I, I never can roll with, you know, the little plastic white guy. So I, I traded him out for Chewbacca. So I got Chewbacca in there. And he came out really good. Now you guys know, we got uh, this Pez dispenser. I've done that numerous times. But, uh, oh, Chewy, Chewy come out really good. You can kind of see him in there. But uh, I did a few other things too. I got, you know, some really cool uh, bumper stickers from Bull Gear RC. Got those on there. Got some other stickers as well. And then, of course, I did the mirrors. You guys chose 13 over 9 on gold. So, uh, the gold mirrors came out really, really good. They uh, actually are inset in the mirror housing. And I didn't really know that until I got the old mirrors out. I just thought they were stickers. But they're actually stickers on top of what looks to be about 1 16th of an inch worth of double-sided sticky tape. So when I pulled those out, I thought, oh man, this is going to be really good. Yeah, I'm out of breath. That was, that was fun. But uh, I thought, oh, this is great. You know, my new mirrors are going to be inset as well. So those turned out really good. Uh, man, this truck is an absolute beast. I was just going to do my, my run footage real quick. But like I said, I want to tell you guys all the cool little things I did. And I'll have a little bit longer of a video kind of showing how I did some of this stuff, like the trailer hitch. I have this really cool trailer hitch back here that I promise you, I'll pull a tree down with that thing. I mean, it is basically welded into the truck. Uh, that took me a little while to do, but it didn't cost me nothing. It's just a, a bolt, you know, a couple nuts, and, uh, you know, some glue. And I tell you, I, I, I'm looking to try to get this chain, some kind of chain, you know, to go around it so I can yank some stuff down or up the mountain or down the mountain or whatever. But um, I got that in there. This was the antenna off of my SCX-10 III. I swapped that up for the short antenna, which kind of fits the truck a little bit better, through the long antenna on here, which, again, looks better. And then uh, I took her down the mountain and ran it over the rocks. And I'll tell you what, they charge quite a bit of money for this truck. And uh, I know why. Because you can just point this thing whichever direction you want it to go and hit the button, and it will go. Uh, no matter what's in your way, this thing's going to go over it. I went over a, a tree that would have been like the size of a sequoia to this thing, you know, in scale. And it just drove right over it like it wasn't even there. Uh, I've got a cool video at the end of this video coming in just about 25 seconds from now. I, if I were you, I would stick around and check it out because, uh, man, this thing is just killer. Got two cameras on it, one POV one trail cam and uh i think the footage is going to be absolutely spectacular guys it's brian it's amazing rc this is my scx6 and uh finally got her a little dirty today enjoy <laughs> 